Hello and welcome to another video on my channel. My name is Math Money. I make Minecraft Battle Edition content. And if you enjoy what you see, then please make sure to leave a like and subscribe so that you don't miss any future videos. And today I'm going to show you how to detect if there's a player or an entity in a minecart. So let me show it to you. When you activate this machine, so it's basically it's a, just sends this minecart off and there is no player inside. I totally did it the other way around just for testing purposes. So right now if we have a minecart in here and there's no player inside, it will just get destroyed in here but if there is a player inside then we just go on like normal so how this all works is we have this observer in here with a string in front of it and that can detect whenever there is a player changing that block here because that will cause a block update. Now this signal will then be transferred into here, will be extended in here and then will be sent into this rail and that decides in which direction you go. Now as you saw at the beginning you can just change this here and you will have it exactly the other way around. So in this direction would be with a player and in this direction would be without a player. But in my case it's like this and you can see what happens if you build it the wrong way. Then in here I have a detect rail. Detecting like when you come from that direction this detect rail will detect it and change the rail so that you go back in here. Because if I didn't do that, let me just quickly demonstrate it by breaking one redstone. In my case, and you came from this direction, you would go straight into the cactus. So that's why we have this thing in here. I don't think I'll have to do a tutorial on this as I've shown you everything in this system. The thing that activates all of this is the string with the observer. So we'll, you'll need one string, one observer, a bit of redstone, one detect rail, a bunch of normal rails and powered rails. You will need like one, two repeaters and you will need two comparators. And on the other side you will need one cactus, one hopper, if you want to collect the minecarts, which I would highly recommend, because otherwise you're going to lose all of them and iron is very expensive, at least for now. And yes, that's it, really. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe, as said before. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.